Cranky's hook swung low over Thomas. Thomas hardly dared puff. With a creak and a crank, and a crank and a creak, and very, very slowly, Cranky raised Thomas high into the air. Bubbling boilers! Creaky Cranky is lifting me! Then there was trouble. Cranky creaked louder than ever. His crane arm stuttered and juddered. It creaked and it croaked. Then it cracked. Oh, no. Cranky's crane arm had broken, and it was all Thomas's fault. Thomas was stuck high in the sky and blowing in the breeze. Then Sir Topham had arrived. Thomas, what are you doing up there? I'm sorry, sir. I was... You are causing confusion and delay. The Duke and Duchess have no wood, straw bales, or eggs. Now I see you have them all here. Cranky is broken, and you, Thomas, think it's a good time to try being a bird. The Duke and Duchess are waiting. Thomas felt very silly. Then Sir Topham Hatt looked at Cranky. And you're as silly as Thomas. Cranky crumpled. The shame to be as silly as a steamy. <laughs>